Welcome to my channel, I'm Scott, and in this video I'm going to walk you through the process of valuing Hawaiian holding stock by analyzing their financial statements and dissecting their financial ratios so we can determine if it's a buy or a sell. Let's get started with the model. This is a small cap company, 900 million market cap, they're trading at $17 a share and they have 52 million shares outstanding. Hawaiian Holdings operates Hawaiian Airlines. They offer scheduled air transportation for passengers and cargo. They provide daily services between Hawaii and Long Beach, LA, Oakland, Ontario, Sacramento, San Diego, San Francisco, San Jose, Vegas, Seattle, Portland, Phoenix, New York, Austin, and Boston. Let's look at their financials. The way you value a company is you estimate the free cash flows into the future and then you discount those numbers back to today's value. That's what we're doing in this video. And free cash flow is cash flow from operations minus capital expenditures. They did have positive free cash flow in 2021, 200 million, but it gets worse each year. Negative 100 million in 2022, negative 450 million in 23, then almost negative 700 million in trailing 12 months. And their revenue is going up, yet their free cash flow is going down. Net income is a profit or loss on the income statement. It's revenue minus expenses. That also gets worse each year from negative 145 million to negative 355 million. Revenue is a sales for the company, and that went from 1.6 billion to 2.6 billion, up 65%. Then only up 3% into 2023, up 2% into the trailing 12 months. At least it's going up, but going up 2-3% is pretty weak. You want to go up at least 5-6% to match inflation, but even 5-6% isn't so great. You probably want to be around 8-12%. to Obviously it depends what stage of company you are, but they've been around a while, so I think 8-12% to is appropriate. We estimated four years of future free cash flows. We also estimated a terminal value, it's all cash flow is past year four, that's 3.2 billion. We discounted those numbers back to today using weighted average cost of capital. We get a value of the company of $939 million. We divide that by 52 million shares. And we get a calculated stock price of $18. They're trading at $17, so they're trading at a 3% discount. It's a buy according to the model. Do you think it's a buy or sell? Let me know in the comments. Like Rodney Dangerfield, this company gets no respect. Simply Wall Street does not value them. But four analysts priced this stock at $16.50. They say it's overvalued. There are 16 companies in the same industry as Hawaiian. If they have a number in red, they're worse than the median. If they have a number in blue, they're better. They spend a little less than the median in CapEx, $376 million. Most of their capex spend is when they purchase aircraft. We can't look at their debt to equity ratio, negative equity. If a company has negative equity, that means their assets are lower than their liabilities. Another way to put it, their liabilities are higher than their assets. Another way to put it, assets minus liabilities is negative. They have negative 700 million of free cash flow, worse than the median average. They rank ninth in market cap, a little less than the median. We can't look at their price to book, negative equity. We can't look at their PE, negative earnings. We can't look at their price to free cash flow, negative free cash flow. Price of sales cannot be negative. It could be zero, it can't be negative. That's 0.3, so that means their revenue is about triple their market cap. And their five year annual revenue growth rate is flat. It rounds to negative 0%, so it's probably like negative 0.1%. Here's their latest income statement, the second quarter of 24, second quarter of 23. Revenue is up. Passenger revenue, 645 million, now 666 million. Total revenue, 732 million, up from 707 million. Payroll is their biggest expense, 265 million. That's up a bit from last year. Fuel, 179 million. That's a big expense for airlines. Maintenance and repair, 70 million, also up from last year than a host of other expenses. So total expenses, 787 million, up a decent amount from last year, up about 10%. They have an operating loss of 55 million. Last year was 10 million. They spent 28 million of interest on their debt. Last year, 23 million. They do receive 11 million of interest on their investments. Net loss, 68 million. Last year was a loss of 15 million. And they did add some shares. Last year they had 51.6 million, now they have 51.9 million. So to summarize, I have them trading at a 3% discount. I give them a ranking of two out of 10. They seem to be really struggling. I would not buy this stock one out of 10. Ratios one out of 10. Three of the four ratios are NA. Financials three out of 10 because their revenue is up 74% since 2021 but their free cash flow keeps getting worse. So that's the end of the video. Let me know what you think. Give it a like, subscribe, or comment below. If you'd like to get a custom valuation or just support the channel, you can become a member by clicking on the link in the description below. Thank you very much.